In this video will cover the steps to reset the Oronoco AP9100R access point via scan tool version 3.1.3. Uh, a few quick notes. Uh, it is recommended to have a spare POE with the real low button available at all times. Uh, the POE part number is 76346. Uh, this can be purchased through your Proxim reseller. As the reset works at the bootloader level, VLAN configuration will not impact the procedure. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at how to reset a uh, Orinoco AP9100R, uh, the ruggedized. Okay, so we have here uh, the GUI. All right, so we're going to click on uh, File Management, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Factory Defaults, and we're going to go ahead and reset. Okay, now, if for some reason uh, you do not have the, um, lost the ability to connect via HTTP and you need to reset the radio, uh, there's two other methods, right? Uh, one of them is uh, having a, uh, uh, the POE with the power supply. That was the one that was mentioned in the beginning. Or uh, having uh, the scan tool, okay, uh, version 3.1.x would be the, the 2.3. Okay, and uh, it's going to have this reload reset functionality here. Okay, and this is uh, what exactly this is what we're going to cover in this video. Okay, so uh, the process itself is fairly simple. Okay, you're going to go to um, you're going to go ahead and open up your scan tool. You're going to have to right click and click as as administrator. Okay, if you don't, this particular feature is actually going to be grayed out. Okay. You're going to select your radio and you're going to press the reload reset. Okay, so it tells you right here device must be connected directly to your PC through Ethernet. User must be able to turn on and off the device during the reload recess procedure. Click OK. So, what they're referring to is that you have to be directly connected to the radio, not through a switch or through a router. It has to be directly connected to your PC or a laptop to the NIC. Okay, um, other than that, it will not work. Right. So let's proceed. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, now um, here's your reload. If we do a force reload, we're going to go ahead and do a reset. Okay, uh, so click the reset. It's going to give you a set of instructions. Right. Go ahead and we're going to allow uh, it to go through firewall. All right, so it tells you to turn, it, uh, turn the device off. Click OK and then turn it back on. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're just going to wait until uh, the process is over. Okay, and uh, we're going to get a, a success and then we proceed from there. Okay, and we are done. Uh, so go ahead and close the window. Give the radio about uh, three to four minutes for it to power cycle. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go and uh, use the scan tool. Uh, you may need to put your uh, your uh, NIC at 169.254.128.x, 24-bit mask, 255.255.255.0. Okay, um, so you could see it in my case. If I click uh, select adapters, you can see I already have a, a specific IP address set. Okay, once again, this takes about... Uh, uh, three to four minutes. Okay, and I did a rescan and then we are back. So all you need to do is click change. Uh, if you have a static IP address, go ahead and uh, put in your IP information. The read write uh, password is public. Click OK. Uh, then it's going to reboot and uh, then you should be able to access uh, the access point via that new IP address. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.